All right, guys, I'm gonna tell you about my little fire situation that I got into yesterday. It was so scary that I haven't felt adrenaline rush through my body like that in ever, or at least in the last decade. So we're there, we're grilling. Like you guys saw, actually, let me rewind. Like you guys saw in my last video, I opted out of the Amazon slips that I used to put on the grill. It's like these black slips I got from Amazon. They're great, but they're super hard to clean. So my family is in town for like two days. My sister came for like two days. I don't want to waste time cleaning that, all that stuff. Like spend at least an hour cleaning that, put it away. Like I just wanted to be in and out. So I decided to get some aluminum foil, put that on the grill, grill on top of that. And then that way I could just throw it away and it'll be fine. Bad idea. Or maybe the bad idea was getting the cheap brand because I got the great value brand of the aluminum foil, which is a big mistake. I was, every time I try to be frugal, it bites me in the ass. It just does. I don't know. It doesn't matter what I'm being frugal about. It could be food. It could be drinks, whatever. It will bite me in the ass. I'll go out for drinks and I'll get some, um, the mixed well drinks and I'll be so dying the next day or i get some cheap food and my stomach will hurt like every time i'm trying to be frugal it just does not work out so that, that there i was instead of getting the good quality aluminum foil that i know i deserve i went and i got the cheap one what happens i go to the grill i'm the chef in my family i'm always the one on the grill i'm, I'm pretty confident in my grilling skills i'm not really scared to grill i know it gets a little intense it gets smoky sometimes the flame might be a little higher than other times but i'm genuinely not scared to use the grill because it's pretty straightforward so i'm there i'm flipping like moving things around trying to get everything to get some color all right so what happens i go to flip the food move things around and i feel that i ripped a little bit of the aluminum foil i'm thinking that sucks because if if you know, you know, you rip the foil, the grease from whatever you're cooking, in my case was beef, falls through that directly onto the fire, feeds the fire, it gets bigger. So not the best situation, but I have experience, so I know how to deal with it. Usually if the flame gets a little bit bigger, I'll close the lid, let it cool off, and that'll be that. So I do that. But when I go to open the lid, it is not cooled off at all. The flame's way bigger. The entire foil at this point is on fire. And I'm just panicking. I'm like, I have to think fast. Like, I'm looking around, like, what are my options? So I do exactly that. I grab the chompers, like, the chompers. I don't know what else to call them, really. I throw the food off of it. I grab the foil, throw it on the floor, start stomping out the, fo the, the fire. Okay, so at this point, I'm shaking. Like, my adrenaline is through the roof. It's intense. It's an intense situation but thankfully the fire's out i turn the grill off i turn the gas off everything like everything is done right there and i see my sister and her husband walking towards me and i ask them oh my god that's so crazy like did you guys see that they didn't see it i don't know if anyone else saw it no one mentioned it to me but it was scary super scary the flames were very big um needless to say i stopped grilling after that we had a bunch of burgers and hot dogs and the the point was to let it, everything cool off and then i'll try and finish up the steaks and the pork chops but eventually i didn't even do that honestly I, I just finished it up at home later that night we had more than enough burgers and hot dogs to keep us full for the pool day and i would just deal with the rest later because it was too much i had to relax after that i haven't felt that crazy in a long time like the adrenaline was so intense so another thing, the grills don't get cleaned as often as I think they should get cleaned. It's impossible in a complex of this size for the grills to get cleaned enough because everyone's using them, especially the gas ones. Like there's a bunch of coal ones on the outsides of the complex, but at the main area where the pool's at, where the game room's at, where everybody wants to be, it's just the gas grills. So there's only two of them everyone uses those and then the right the one on the right side hasn't worked for months so it's really just that one gas grill that everyone's using so think about it like food falls in there all the time even when i went to grill there was already like two piece, pieces of chicken when i started so what's that gonna do that's gonna add more fuel to the fire unnecessarily because you already have the settings to control so if i put it at a certain setting like it should stay there now you're 
you're putting into play all these extra things, you know, the extra food that's on there, the dirt, like, it's not good. It's important to clean the grills and make sure everything is well maintained, but it's really hard to do in a complex of this size. So I understand at the same time, but that was such a scary moment. On a lighter note, here's some footage. Is it yummy? Hello? Is it yummy? Who's Nina's baby? It's Nina's baby. It's Nina's baby? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job, Chris Aiden! <laughs> <laughs> Say hi! Un <laughs> beso, Nina. <laughs> Ruby, come here. Let's go get mama. You want to get mama? Yeah. Yeah. What the hell are we going to get mama for? You got Titi Deji. Ruby.